Okay, hi there students. This is an essay at level C1. This is for the um, Cambridge Advanced, for example. Okay, a school that has always had a strict school uniform policy is considering getting rid of school uniforms and allowing students to wear something more formal. You've been asked to submit a report that outlines the main advantages and disadvantages of each policy. Write your report in 220 to 260 words. Dress code report. Okay, that's good. Good title. That's fine. This report has been carried out with the aim of evaluating the main advantages and disadvantages resulting from a tentative proposal coming from the school management uh, related to the leaving out of the current wear strict policies in favour of uh, a more informal clothing. Okay, you would, let's see. Firstly, I like what you're doing. Um, at the bit at the um in this this is the way to start a report is to say um uh what the aim of the report is this report has been carried out with the aim of evaluating the main advantages and disadvantages um uh resulting okay so uh resulting from a tentative proposal um coming from uh, uh, coming from the school management, from a tentative proposal um, by school management related to the... So this is where you start to get into problems. Uh, from a tentative proposal by school management um related to the leaving out of the current wear strict policies no um related to well or let's see from a tentative proposal by school management um so we need something different um suggesting that um, uh, um, the wearing of school uniforms be suspended in favor of a more uh, informal uh, informal policy on dress codes let's see how that how that reads now this report has been carried out with the aim of evaluating the main advantages and disadvantages resulting from a tentative proposal by school management suggesting that the wearing of school uniforms be suspended in favour of a more formal policy, informal policy on dress codes. Among the benefits that might come so, so that might accrue it's a much better word, with a possible policy change with, so among the benefits that might accrue 
from a possible policy change um, Uh, for a policy from possible policy change in favor of the use of more formal more informal clothes more informal clothes would be the following release families from the outlay coming from the present mandatory purchase of school uniforms okay I like this word outlay um, from release families from the outlay uh, of the burden of the outlay of the outlay presently Um, release of fa uh, release f so would be the following uh, release families of the burden of uh, the outlay uh, required for the purchase for the purchase of mandatory school uniforms so it would be the following I think I'm going to put a V here the whoops the release The release of the 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 release for families of the burden of outlay required in the Man in the purchase of mandatory school uniforms um, an increase in the level of responsibility are uh, required of students uh, required of students of students so making those oldest no let's put that in later on uh, of students making them be responsible just making them responsible for deciding the deciding the appropriate clothes the appropriate clothes to wear every day to wear every day to wear I think I'd prefer each day 
an increase in the a, an increase in the level of responsibility required of students, making them responsible for deciding the appropriate clothes. Making uh, for deciding the appropriate clothes, making them responsible for deciding the appropriate clothes to wear for uh, to wear each day. Uh, this would um, affect older students. Uh, this would affect uh, more. The, this would affect older students more. I think I'm going to leave out that last bit. It 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 it, it doesn't help it. Okay. Um. Boost. Okay. Uh, it would pro. So, it would give a boost to students' familiarity with diversity in the classroom, in the school, and consequently in their social lives inside and outside the school environment. The school may work on that uh, on, on that direction, on that idea allowing students to show their own preferences and personality through the clothing they wear. It would be an indirect way of working in the, cl in the classroom uh, with aspects like, yeah, such as tolerance, empathy, and make students understand the benefits of diversity. Good. As for the drawbacks of applying the policy change under discussion, as for the drawbacks of applying the policy change under discussion, um, the following uh, ideas might apply. Get rid of. Okay, so getting rid of a guideline or aspect related to school regulations that can have been key for most of the families when they come to choose the suitable school for their children. Okay, getting rid of. Um, okay, getting rid of a, a guideline, a factor, a characteristic, not a guideline, a characteristic. or aspect related to school regulation that may well have been key for most, for some families, for some families, when they came to choose 
uh, a suitable school for their children. Um, okay, so it m might bring to light possible economic gaps between uh, economic difference um, economic gaps between uh, families so you put a might here it could bring to light possible economic gaps economic differences between families that mm, that might make students live uh, bother situations you can't say bother situations that might uh, that might make students live that might force students into uh, unpleasant situations Uh, in terms of which would be absolutely unwanted by the school management. Bearing in mind the previous, the above, the aforementioned, the aforementioned advantages and disadvantages linked to the proposed policy change, it is strongly recommended that that this report be shared so recommend that plus present subjunctive it's strongly recommended that this report be shared with uh, the families uh, w with families uh, be, be shared with families so that they can decide for themselves through voting that for uh through voting whether to implement or not the change for the next school year. Okay. Ugh, what do I say? It's let's see. It's it, it's got some good bits to it, but it's got some uh, uh some difficulties as well. Um. Let's see. Um. What am I going to say? So did 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 this answer the question? Um. Yeah, I think this probably did answer the question quite well. Um, let's see. The, the, you, it's um, to evaluate the advantages and disadvantages of each. And you, you've done that ve uh, uh, ve very clearly. Um, 
I think maybe I'm going to give you 3.5 uh, for uh, content. Communicative achievement. The writing is appropriate for the task. Okay, yes, the, right st the style and register is quite good. You're a little bit out with the register in one or, in one or two places. Um, one thing I always find very difficult is when you've got a list of bullet points like this is how to start them yeah and normally either I start them with an ing or some sort of noun um, I think it probably holds the reader's attention again I'm going to give you a three out of five for that um, organization it's coherently organized and the focus and prioritization is logical um, the ideas are connected e yes it's maybe um, a little bit difficult at times for the reader to follow um, I think organization I'm going to give you a three language okay you've got a good range of um, vocabulary the grammar it leaves to be desired there are quite a lot of mistakes there are clearly too many mistakes within this and that's something you want to get down so I think probably for language two out of five um, I think overall I'm going to give you a pass just about it squeezes but I think it probably squeezes past uh, and uh, the, the exam so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon bye for now